Tom here, Flip Anything USA. So on my blog, I like to show people how I built my real estate empire since I was 19 years old when I bought my first property and made a million by the time I was 28, and that was over 30 years ago. I've been buying and selling real estate, and on this blog, I like to show you how I've made my money and how I currently do the same thing. This is also a book I have available. Wake up and smell the real estate. You can get it on Amazon. It's already a number one new release with Kindle. But anyhow, I'm going to talk to you about how I made $140,000 in three months, and I'm actually sitting on the very property. I'm going to get out and show you in a minute how I did that. Uh, so let me explain what we got here. We've got a busy street right here in front of me, and then this is a corner. This is actually a, a really big corner property right here, right? Well, my property that I bought is a little tiny V. It's the strangest thing, but it's really, really cool because I got a little house here, or the one that I sold that's behind me. It's like a little house that's an office. In fact, it was an insurance office. And I can even give you a story about how I found this thing. This is a major street. This is a not so major street, okay? But it's there's a big three acre parcel here and then there's this little tiny V and that's the property that I bought. I bought it for like $120,000, sold it for like 280 something. So conservatively, I made about $140,000 on it and I did it in three months. It wasn't exactly for sale, but I was driving by and I looked over and I saw an old guy walking from his car to the property and I'd never seen any cars there and I assumed he owned it. It was a little uh, insurance company. It might've been a progressive insurance company. So I called up and I said, hey, would you be interested in selling that property? And, and same guy, it was him. And he said, oh, no, not really. And not interested. And uh, and I intended to stop by later on and give a card anyways. He just looked like he was at that retirement age. So anyways, two weeks later, one of my tenants calls me that's also an insurance agent. And he says, hey, Tom, he goes, uh, I got a property that I have an opportunity to buy and I wondered if you let me out of your lease. And I said, sure, I'll let you out of your lease, no problem. And he says, well, you know what? I don't even know if I'm gonna buy it, Never mind." And I go, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I wanna know what you're talking about. And he goes on to tell me, and I go, I just drove by. It was this property that he was talking about. Turns out this other insurance guy was his golf partner, a golf buddy, they play golf together. And this guy told me he'd sell it to him. So I said, John, I'm gonna come see it. I turn around and rip down there, go see John. I said, so tell me what's going on here. And he says, well, I, you know, I don't think I'm going to do it, I, but I haven't. I said, John, you have to buy that property. I said, you have to buy it or I'll buy it with you or I'll buy it from you. One of the way or another, we got to go get that property. And so I said, call him up right now. It was always on the phone with him. I said, I'm turning my car around and I'm heading to your office. I said, call him and arrange for us to come see him. Well, five minutes later, I was at his office and he says, well, he said we could come by. I said, let's go. He already told me that the guy said he'd sell it to him for 110. I said, John, that's a steal. Let's do it. And so he wasn't sure about it. He just wasn't sure. So I said, no problem. I said, let's go down there. We go down there. I take a sheet of paper with me. We agree that we'll buy it together. I walk through the details of making the deal. We're going to pay 110000 cash for it within, I don't know, 30 days or something like that. And at the same time, I told John, I said, John, if you don't want to be a partner on this, I said, or you, or you want to buy it by yourself, you can, or you can buy it, you know, if you want to buy it with me, we'll buy it together. I said, or I'll just give you $10,000 to walk away. And we'll make 10 grand, keep rent from me, and I'll buy the place. And so we got it up, got it signed up, put it in escrow. Next day, John says, hey, Tom, you know what? You, you were serious about giving me $10,000? I said, yeah, I'll buy you right out. He said, okay. I just went right over, gave him a check for $10,000. He agreed to assign his interest, the, the half of the interest or whatever that I'd buy it by myself. That was a deal we made. 30 days later, I paid cash for this property or however I paid for it. I don't remember. I'm sure I paid cash for it. Anyways, I bought it and immediately put it up for rent. I planned on keeping it. It's a beautiful, I thought I'll put my own office here in 30 years when I retire and, you know, manage my properties locally from here. I don't know. It was a great deal. That's all that mattered. So again, keep in mind, this is a little sliver within a very big estate. And this has got a 50,000 square foot building right here. Let's see, as it sits, there's a 50,000 square foot building with a giant parking garage. And it wasn't there originally. Oh well, no, actually it was. So there's a big giant building here, right here, okay? And I'll kind of show you. That big building is right here, okay? Doesn't look that big, but that thing is enormous. And that's a parking garage back behind it. But look at this. 
Look at this beautiful manicured lot. So one of the best things about this property was, is that you're surrounded like you're in a park almost. You got the benefit of the frontage of being on a very busy thoroughfare. And then you got, there's no, there's no room other than the, the house and the cars, cars to bark on this thing. There's nothing else to take care of. You don't need, for this property, you don't need a landscaper. All the landscaping is taken care of by the people that own this big, beautiful property that this thing is in. You know, it kind of reminds me of, uh, if you've ever seen those situations where somebody holds out, won't sell, and they dig a big, big old department store, and then there's like a little house that that was the person that held out, wouldn't sell. Well, that's what this kind of looks like. So let's take a look and I'll, I'll show you a little more. So you can see there's the street frontage. That's another street this way. This is the big busy street right here. And now you can kind of follow me. This is the property line. It's actually, see that? You can see the telephone pole. That's kind of a telltale way. See the angle here? See the angle of this? You see that these usually line up very well with telephone poles and their guy lines. See the guy wire? That guy wire is an indication that's the property line. And of course this is too. And so this is like a, just a perfect triangle. Goes back there, comes back, follows that fence. And then what you got is this this house was a little smaller. They actually enclosed the deck after uh, after I sold the property. And uh, as you can see, it's just a cool place. It's a rainy day, it's mid-morning. The street's not as busy as it usually is. Uh, and then here's the other line of that triangle right here. So you got this awesome little building. It was about a thousand square feet, I think. Yeah, I think it was a thousand square feet. Now I think it's about 2,000 square feet. And and what's funny is, this is what happened. These guys have been doing my signs for probably 10 years back then. And when they saw the place for sale, they called on it and they go, oh, Tom, this is you. And I said, yeah. And it was uh, Sean and Al. Sean actually passed away, really, really great, great guy. But anyways, uh, he also had twin kids, twin twin girls, I had twin boys. But uh, anyways, besides, aside from that, they bought this property for me 10 years ago. And, but when he came to me, he said, Tom, I don't want to rent. He goes, I want to buy it. I go, Sean, I don't want to sell it. I go, that sign, just the sign alone on the street, it's worth 2,500 a month. I told him that because that's what I wanted. I wanted 2,500 a month to rent this place. And every day, and this shows that persistence pays off. I'll tell you what, that guy would not leave me alone. He said, Tom, you must sell me the place. You must sell me the place every day he'd call and i didn't have it leased and so i said look i'll sell it to you but i want and i put a high price up on it 280 or whatever it was and he said i'll take it and uh uh and so i couldn't believe that he took the price at the time it was like 10 10, 10 years or so ago anyways he he took it they bought it and and they've been very pleased ever since and uh like i say sean actually had passed away since then but anyways great deal great deal for them great deal for me it was easy money for me i i wanted to just lease it i was more intent on leasing it than anything because of the fact that all i you know it was, to me it was just a great return on investment you know for a, a hundred i gave 110 plus i gave 10 grand so that's total of one hundred and twenty thousand dollars. and then uh uh, uh so for one hundred and twenty thousand dollars, i had 2500 a month that's thirty thousand a year it just made sense it just made sense so I was fine with that. And but you can see, what a great, clean, cool, beautiful piece of property. Let's go inside, I'll show you. I'm actually just ordered another sign and I thought, hey, you know what? Here's a teachable moment. Let's talk about this. So I'll walk you through the property here now. So you can see actually this part here, this was actually behind me, this was a, a patio. They enclosed that in and they added about a thousand square feet. I was actually surprised they got to add quite so much. But you know, just a nice, big workable office where they make signs and uh, they had to tear out a wall or two had a little bathroom back here and I think they even got a little upstairs locked here now but anyways but this is this is one of those kind of gems that man you just don't find this kind of property every day but this is a great little property uh, worked out well like I said it was a win-win for, for, for both me and for the person I sold it to and the old guy that retired, he was happy. He didn't want any hassles. He wanted to close a quick deal. He wanted to close it up quick. You know, he probably didn't want to leave quite so much money on the table, but you know, he didn't do his due diligence and try to get more. But at the same time, he was comfortable. He just didn't care. Look at that beautiful, gorgeous property behind me. Look at all this beautiful manicured lawn, all paid for. 
don't have to pay a cent for it. It's all done, well, for me at the time. Now it's done for these guys that I sold it to. Keep your eyes open. Be sure to get my book. I've done more deals than anybody I know, made more money than anybody I know doing what I do, and started from zero. You can do it. It's not that difficult. It's about keeping, being diligent, and just working hard. And I say working hard, it's just being, taking time to do what I did in this scenario. I saw an old man. I thought, hey, he looks like he wants to retire. And guess what? I was right on the money. It was just a fluke that one of my tenants called me back and told me, hey, I got a line on buying this thing. So that's it. Flip anything. Be sure to hit that notification button. Please hit the like button. But join the channel and, and get that digital book. It's, I mean, 10 bucks. It's like the cost of a beer, okay? Be sure to share, subscribe. Really hit that subscribe button. I think you'd be really happy you did. If you got any interest in making money in real estate, I guarantee you, I bring a lot of experience to the table. It doesn't cost anything to watch my videos. And if you want the book to really have something nearby, close, that'll be a great hand, in-hand guide that's concentrated on what to do. It's actually a course on, on what to do and how to make money. So it's a bargain like you can't believe. So that's it. Flip anything. Thanks.